Oh crap. Sorry about that guys, I was getting this ring and I kinda got and I kinda choked there, but hey everybody, Lance the Pants, and welcome back to the Pokemon XE Gale of Darkness Let's Play. In this episode, we are going to be, you know, trying to get to Justy and see what we can find out. But the scouter reads that this person has a shadow Pokemon and it's a snow run. Snow run, ice type. Um snow run, honestly. I'm saying this here and now, snow run's not that good. It evolves into Glalie, who is of course another ice type. Um, can I recommend Snow Run as a Sarley? Yes, yeah, Snow Run's my Pokemon. Glalie, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. It gets a bad rap, and while it's not really the best Pokemon out there, I mean it's not good. I'm just saying that here and now. But when I first did my my first playthrough of Pokemon Emerald, because that's the first time I ever played Gen 3 was Emerald, um, I used the Glalie and it actually was pretty decent, so maybe it depends, honestly. I can't really if you want to try to do like a really ballsy move and see how well you can do with it, then yeah, go with uh, Snow Run to see if you get to Glalie. But honestly, there's better ice types in the game, like uh, Steel. Of course, he's water ice type, so. You know what's weird though is like uh, that room wasn't really that big like before we started our battle, and now it's like huge. It's like a coliseum now. Or an arena. Like, the only person actually wonders that, like, you know, how do these, like, places get, like, so vast and whatever? I don't know. It's just strange, though. She is a Golbat, which, uh, Golbat, um, you see a lot of him in, you know, Pokemon games, especially when you're in caves and all that. Well, not really in, like, black and white, since they're not really in there, but, you know, because you see a lot of Swoobats and... Honestly, Swoobats, I don't think they occur, like, they don't really show up as much as they do Golbats. It's mostly the stupid boldors or whatever the crap they're called they had that stupid uh, effect on a sturdy and pretty much that means you cannot one hit ko them which is stupid i really wish that they would get rid of that stupid effect in the games because sturdy is a terrible move because every time i'd run into one of those i'd one hunt i'd one hit it until you know sturdy so you can't but whatever Alright, good, I'm gonna switch Steel out, so we can get this over with. I'm gonna switch it with Jolteon. Um, by the way, guys, um, I'm sorry I said they were gonna have a nickname by episode 16 when they really don't. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I had a, you might know, hear it for a minute. No, I remember it from my computer for a second. Sorry, because I thought somebody walked in the door. But, um, Jolteon and Steel will not have, uh, nicknames until, I think, episode 22, I'm pretty sure. Because really, by this time, I really started figuring out a nickname, and by episode 22, I did figure out a nickname, and you guys are gonna like the nicknames, so I'll just say that. Boyne's pretty funny, because it actually is a picture after show off, which will make you guys laugh a lot, I'm pretty sure. And of course, Jolteon still has Thunder Shock, even though Thunder Shock is a really weak electric type move by the level that we're at right now. But we will be getting rid of a, a Thunder Shock pretty soon, so don't worry. I'm about to say Lecture Ball, but you don't have that in this game, so sadly. God, I hate Shadow Wave. It's like the most tedious like move to watch, honestly. It's like. It's hack twice and it's really slow when it does it. It's just a pain. I hate it. And it can die in a hole. Why did I not really edit any of this fight out, now that I think about it? I do not know why, but it... I guess I was just being stupid that day. 
So pretty much I was being me that day. Pro yeah, that's true. I do remember this fight going on for quite some time, which kind of sucks. Even though this episode is really short though, but like considering like what we do in this, like it takes forever and ever and ever. Just like that VG Cat short. If I can, did I mention that in an episode of this or is that another thing? I don't remember. Honestly, I have hasn't been since like what Sunday night? I think. I think Sunday night. Since I, you know, did, no, maybe it's Monday night. I'm not sure since I recorded in the last sexy. Yo, darkness. And by the way, it's Wednesday of this week. It's actually May 29th. So May is almost over, you know. School's out at the moment, you know. Gotta go to work, all that. Kind of sucks, but you know. By the way, we'll also be getting, be getting rid of Ember as well pretty soon. I think in the next dungeon we'll be getting rid of it for a new move, which is really cool. I really have nothing to say here because it's just battle, battle, battle. Um, what can I say? Um, this snow runt is kind of adorable. He's like a little Eskimo. Feel went down, um... I don't know why, but for some reason I really like feel. I kind of feel bad for Snow whenever he dies or go like faints his animation because he, he looks like he's gonna cry. He's like, I'm sorry, I wasn't good enough. I don't know. It's kind of sad. Maybe just because he's a blue little ball with a seal, he's kind of adorable. That's not why I picked Steel because he's adorable. He's actually pretty good typing and he has some pretty good defense along with special. And uh, he's probably the best water type you can get. Well, at this point in the game, you can probably get. Lance through a snag ball. Can we get snow run? Hopefully, this battle is extremely tedious to watch. Alright, Shadow use Ember. This episode, I'm sorry if this episode's boring, guys, but honestly, what can I really say here? I'm Mighty Anna fainted. Um, Peter Parker, you know, he fell off a cliff, and then, you know, Rescue Peter Griffin tonight. He's like, everybody gets one. That was really weird. To be fair, though, earlier I was singing the like, Hulk Hogan theme song, just for no reason. I was going around singing that to like, my cat. I'm kidding. I wasn't singing to my cat, but I was humming the song. But yeah, something's up, actually. Uh, you know, Scyther tried to attack us in here, so that means something's up. So. Hmm? Wow! It was a red herring. What a whore. You know, like, how did they get all those clothes off that fast, honestly? Like, do they just, like, press a button and they shoot off? Or, like, what do they do? Like, like honestly, they can't really do that much. Like, they like can they really throw, like, their clothes off that fast? No. I don't think that's humanly possible. And the scouter reads, we have a shadow Pokemon, a shadow Ponko. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, you know, Ponko, uh, it, it sucks, you know, I, I don't recommend Ponko, it evolves, I think it's, is this Pokemon evolves in Fortress? Uh, I'm pretty sure that evolves in a Fortress, count me on that, um, if I'm wrong, I'll put something up right here, um, so yeah. And there's Murkrow, uh, Shadow Dark Type, not Shadow Dark Type, <laughs> uh, Dark Flying Type. Like, Murkrow is actually a little trivia about this. I think I've said this a million times before, but, uh, Murkrow actually has the exact same catcher as the Alga and Palkia do. In case you don't know who the Alga and Palkia are, they are the mascots of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Fourth Gen. To me, the worst Pokemon games out there. Well, main series was. I've never played any of the Mystery Dungeons or anything. Well, I played a demo Mystery Dungeon Blue, I think. And that was the uh, and from what Geotrix has taught me, they're not that good, so. The more you know. And thank god Murkrow's down. <laughs> the bane of in Tom's life, Murkrow. I 
How are you doing? Oh god. Ugh, I can't. I mean, I know it's a, like a, a cartoon doggy for kids, but god, even Aria does creeps me out. Because I. Listen, guys. I'm arachnophobic. I'm scared of spiders. I do not like spiders in the slightest, so I do not like Ariados at all. Uh -oh. He's a little creepy. A little creepy, Lance. You mean a lot of creepy? Yeah, I mean a lot of creepy. Lance through a snag ball. Come on, catch Ponko. You don't? I'm gonna smash this thing to death, this Ponko. That's a really, like, not really, it ain't really like a, okay. It's not a good name, Pineco, Pinecone, you know, uh, they could have thought of something, they could have thought of something more clever. But, you know, actually, a little thing I didn't know, but, um, according to Did You Know Gaming, apparently Pokemon Gold and Silver were gonna be the last Pokemon games. Um, I don't understand why, I mean, the thing, this series is like a cash cow for, like, Nintendo, even though Nintendo, like, they're... Well, the thing is, though, is certainly Pokemon isn't a first-party, like, thing for Nintendo. It's actually second-party, because Nintendo doesn't own Game Freak. And then Game Freak just has a bunch of, like, uh, partnerships with people. So, you know. I do want to see some more, you know, uh, Game Freak games. Mm -hmm. Like, that Drill game for the GBA apparently was really good, so. I don't know, though. Thank God, I think she's done. Yeah, she's done. Whatever, though. So, let's head outside.